Oh my God! What was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Every shingling a ling. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, that was. <laughs> it's yesterday once more. Oh my God! We're doing Groundhog Day again. Ah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, yes, yeah. Moosey. She died from complications due to anorexia. Her heart kind of, sort of, mm-hmm. um, it consumed itself. Yeah. Um, R.I.P. Mm. Karen Carpenter. I really, when I grew up, or when I was growing up, I wanted to be Karen Carpenter. Because she played the drums, and she sang. It was way cool. Wow. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're on the dork table, and I played a perfectly <sighs> dorkular song. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought so, too. I thought that was, like, of all the, the songs to choose from, that was the one. Yeah. Got, it got the dork approval of the week. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> and people wonder uh, why i smoke anyway yeah yeah so, oh well yeah guess what it's the dork table here on real liberty media.com channel three also on the uh real liberty media phone app grimmy said last night not so good on the apple one but hey on the other one it's pretty good but grimmy don't do apple so Grimmy, you should eat apples. They're very good for you. You should also eat the seeds. They're also very good for you. Um, and I learned listening to um, apple seed, you know, how to plant an a- or how to grow an apple tree from seed, that that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to grow the apple that the seed came from. There, It's weird. But, yeah, another dorkular moment. There you go. <laughs> wow. Oh, well. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, mm-hmm. over on fakey book, I don't think we got anybody. Maybe have Tom. Maybe, <laughs> maybe got Tom. Um, not real sure. Um, anybody hey, from fakey book that is listening in though, Miri B got hacked. So just, you know, if you get a, uh, a oh message no. from her, it's from the <laughs> hacker, not Miri B. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yes. That is good to know. Thank yes, it is. Much. And <laughs> over here on, uh, Twitter... Thank you, Barman, for tweeting us out. And I see this way cool um, meme here. Hillary Groundhog Clinton. I don't see my fucking shadow. And it says, Bill's Rapes, Benghazi, Vince Foster, Sniper uh, sniper Fire, Clinton Foundation, No Accomplishments, Email Cover-Ups, Cattle Futures, Travel Gate, Whitewater Lies, etc., etc., etc. And it looks like she crawled out of a cave for Hildebeest. So, um, yeah, that's a rather interesting meme. I think I'll just go ahead and copy that link and put it over in the r chat real quick. You have an apple tree growing out of... Uh, <laughs> oh, this isn't going to end well for somebody. Oh, probably not. Okay, over on Minds. Hey, everybody over on Minds. I said we're live, but that doesn't necessarily mean that anybody's paying attention. And that's okay. There's people posting in Natural Cures and people against Zionist. And hi, mm. Ethan Indigo. And thank you once again for your awesome article last night. I really yeah. enjoyed it. Um, awesome article last night. Yes. Uh, let's see. Over on the Effin site. Effin site. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, it helps. <coughs> it helps when you, you drink your coffee if you drink it properly. Filthy hippie girl, I'm stalling so you can catch your breath. You Thank you. Dirty hippie pot smoker, you. Well, it wasn't the pot this time though. It was a cup of coffee. It, you know, yeah, if you try and drink and breathe at the same time, doesn't work real well. I, go but figure. That's that's just dorky. At least if it was weed, you'd at least be like. You know, cool. I know I'd be one of the cool kids at the dork table, but no, I'm just a dork killer kid at the qu- yeah, dork table. So. Coffee eh. and talking, nah. Yeah, dork. I know. Look, over look, on the effing right? site, hey, Grimmy's over here as well as T.D. Sanders. Hey, T.D., thanks for sharing all that awesome stuff. And I also see Cowboy Tech is here. Sweet. T.D. shared lots of really cool stuff, even a thing to kill Candida. Kill Candida, because Candida is a fungus, and it yes. has been associated with cancer. So, hey, as a what, cancer what causer. Been, come on, wait, wait. What hasn't been associated with cancer? Come on. Um. Okay. If, if it comes from the government <laughs> and their cronies, it's associated with cancer. Hmm. Oh, well, but it, oh, I got to tell you, though, it's... Uh, 
caprylic acid, oregano mm -hmm. oil, grape seed, grapefruit seed extract, garlic, and pal darko <laughs> tea are the things that help kill candida. Uh, they are the supplements that kill candida. Candida. Wow. I hope we I don't could get it. make it to get what? Hmm? All right. Hey, whoa! I'm gonna nail you to the floor. <laughs> That was Tony Orlando and Don. You want to get Dorkular? Uh, hey, I can really I get want, Dorkular. I want my RLMs. You want your RLM a num a num a nums? Okay. Okay. Yeah, on, the whole reason that I wanted to do this crazy shit was because there's a few people on the RLM that it, it's like talking to them in a way. Well, yeah. it is kind of sort of like talking to them. And you know what? I forgot to change my name to Gramsy Dork. <gasps> <gasps> girl shame See? on me uh, uh, gosh darn it uh, there there now i'm gramsy dork okay <laughs> over here in the rlm which is where you need to be because you know that's where we are <laughs> well you don't have to be there but it, it's the it's the weirdest bar on the internet yeah it is it is thank you barman yeah. for the all the wonderful treats that you give us and speaking of barman yeah. he's right up top i also see cowboy tech is here hey cowboy diddy up dough cowboy <laughs> i see dork cakes waving i see you hey, waving dork cakes cool. i'm waving yeah. too i also yeah. see grimmy and moose girl they were on the freakers ball last <laughs> night and a hell of a show what i stayed up for <laughs> you what never I stayed make up. it past 11 anyway i, I know, know. Why you bother. I know, I'm Light such weight. a... Lightweight, old yes. lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I resemble that. Um, I also I see the love... You used to be able to work an eight-hour-a-day job and go drinking for four hours and then go have sex and get up in the morning and do it all over again. And now, you, if you do it once a week, <laughs> it's an accomplishment. <laughs> I resemble that. Never um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was young once, and now I'm older and... Oh, <laughs> oh! Hey, Girl Scout cookies! <laughs> oh man, don't tell me Girl Scout cookies! Damn it! And buds. I yeah. know. Oh, God. Oh, Girl Scout cookie buds. Oh, okay. That that's yeah. much better. Well, that's just about as bad because you know the Girl Scout cookies. That, the girls they show up and they go. You know you're jonesing for them. You know those thin mints. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and the lemon oh. ones. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I live in Denmark, and they don't even know what those are here. Yeah, well, th that's good. That's good, because I jones for those damn things. But that's the only time I do is when they're selling them. Yeah, mm. you know, oddly enough, where I do reside, they don't force the kids to go out and beg for money to support their school shit. <laughs> wow, go figure. It, it comes out of their taxes or something, and they just get it. <laughs> oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. Interesting how that works. Yes, it is. Okay, back to saying, hey, oh, it's eleven eleven. I better hurry up. <laughs> Hi, Kate. <laughs> Kate. Hey, how you doing? I also see Beth Z and Chalcedony Beth and Chloe. Chloe. Yeah, and then Gramsy Dork. That's me. And Gramsy uh, Dork. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Moosey ordered four boxes of Thin Mints. <laughs> I don't let myself do that. I get yeah. I get you, two you thin mints and two lemons. <laughs> yeah, but you can't justify giving more money to a broken system any other way than to see those old nine-year-old kids with their fucking candy. How do you say no to that? <laughs> should yeah. be, that's cruelty. Cruelty to a grown-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, mm, yeah, yeah, but I sit in a dark corner. With my crayons <laughs> and my blanket. <laughs> no, so do I. <laughs> I also see IB Don C is here, as well as Java, 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 Java Doctor 2. And looky there, Jay Dredd is in the house. Hey, Hansel. <laughs> <laughs> and JJ's na na nine JJ's is here. Juana Taco and Mr. Asmodius. I love it when he has it, Mr. Asmodius. It's so cool. And P. Bunyan is here. Timber, as well as the lovely rain in Spain, falls mainly on the plain. Grim, uh, Denmark is not known for having great cookies, Flasher. Did you know yeah, that? I know. I was just mm. going to tell him. Cirque bakes them from stuff in the kitchen. Ah, Cirque? yeah. So you don't cookies have to buy them. 
I don't. Well, it's not a matter of have to buy them. It's just I just say something and boom, there's <laughs> there's a plate cookies. Of cookies. Oh, yeah, sweet. Yeah. So yeah, Same she spoils you. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also not see- much. Yeah, not much else to call that. <laughs> <laughs> I also see RLM fluke is in the house. The Vanna uh, White. Oh, the, the fluke is here. Oh, yeah, and there's that creeper voice. Rob yeah. Works is here, I, and he fired up the bubbler. Uh, Booyah! I, I'm available tonight, fluke. Oh, God. Remember, Circle. Remember the <laughs> <laughs> Help! <laughs> I see Trust No One is also here, as well as Woody! 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 And Woody. Beetle! Beetle! Beetle, Beetle, Beetle. I haven't seen him chitty-chatting, but I see he's logged in. Uh, Colfax he's, 101. He's an early morning guy, though. I've seen him in the morning. So. Yeah, yeah, he is early morning. my afternoon is their early morning. Yeah, yeah he's East Coaster. Um, Colfax 101 is away Colfax. right now. But we got Dakota, yeah, away. marked away. Um, <laughs> Dakota and Dimma, and there <laughs> I, f- yep. I yeah. finally got back to Dork Cakes. Hi, Dork Cakes, mm, and Flasheruni, and Frumpy, yeah, and Kozu. Hey, Kozu. I know. Frumpy. I also see Poxified and Pompo Pond Sauce, but they're marked away as well. And then there's yeah. Slim Jim Flim in the house, as well as the cuddly <laughs> one, Slim Teddy. Yeah, yep. and, and, yeah. yeah, Teddy. And to round out Ted? the crew, the one, the Random. only, the Phantom. <laughs> the Phantom. Oh, no, it's the Phantom. Yes, it is. And guess what? Yeah. 11.15. Yeah. Bada bing, no. bada boom. Do you know what I did earlier today, Miss Mary? Eat cookies that cook that circles made. No, oh. I was listening to your rocket chair program on the RLM. Ah, okay. Last night. Ah. Yeah, well, it's. Eh, I'm a little older now, so going to bed at three in the morning on a Friday night. Nah, I don't need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <you> know, <laughs> It, it's not a prerequisite to, to pleasure at this point in life, so I found a thing called podcasts. Podcasts? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. I'm really bad. Hey, I know everybody thinks I'm this big computer wizard, and I know how to hack into NASA and all that shit, but I'm really not that good with the computer. But I can open up podcasts on the RLM. Ah, cool. Yeah. Do you know you you said the funniest you had a good story <laughs> you had a good story on the first of July about uh, drinking coffee in Starbucks it was priceless I I think we ought to like figure I'm gonna figure out a way to edit some of the stuff and put it all together oh <laughs> <laughs> like, like the, what like when I went off on boobs yeah you know, sometimes. Whatever comes out is funny, and other times it's not. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but the thing about hands, you tell a good joke. When when you don't try, when you just do it and you just don't even know you're doing it, you're the best. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's at the, it, it starts at the 118 marker of the July 1st show of 2017, if you want to find it. It's funny. There you go. Oh. I'm just having a little kind of a personal joke here at the dork table. Oh, okay. Sur- okay. Surrounded by, boy, what a room full of dorks, too. <laughs> Good oh, God. I thought maybe, um, oh, I thought maybe trust no one, maybe we were broadcasting weird or something. So I went and adjusted a setting. Yes, I was pushing oh, buttons. No. And um, no, he, he just kept hearing you saying what I was saying. And it's like, oh, there's the echo. <laughs> you <laughs> He made me push buttons. He made me. <laughs> yeah, it's all his fault. Yeah. See? And there you go. That's society. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because wow. instead of just saying, well, I made a mistake, it's easier to blame him. So, well. Right. So what happens is you blame him. And then you tell me, and then I blame him. So now there's two of us. Now we just got to get more idiots to blame him. Oh, yeah. And then he'll be blamed right into blame place. Yeah. Where do you go when you 
Yeah. yeah. Whenever people tell you you're the cause of the problem, there you go. It solves everything. Oh. You ever, you ever notice that they don't look for a fucking answer? They just want to whine about everything? It's like being around a bunch of old Jews fighting over the who's going to get stuck paying the bill. Ah, oh, it's him. We, He's we a, it was his answer. idea. Yeah, but we all know the answer. In the end, it's the taxpayer. Ooh, no. And not my fault. It's that other guy. He said I had to do it. Yeah, what's with this majority rule shit anyway? It's not such a good idea. Mm. Yeah. I, maybe maybe the reality of it is we're really in a totalitarian dictatorship, but we're just told a bunch of bullshit and we don't know because, you know, you're living where you're living and I'm living where I'm living and all this big stuff that goes on. Where, where does it all happen? Uh... Mm. I'm well, not the sure. point is. The funny part about it all is that it doesn't involve anybody personally that I have anything to do with that I know on a first name basis. Weird, huh? Yeah, I know. Oh, hey, you want to know something else weird? No. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. I'm going to tell you anyway. Like you do to me. Yeah. yeah hey, 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 at least I listen. <laughs> yeah. Well, and see, Jeez. now you know that Jeez. I wasn't Jeez. really Jeez. listening because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was over on Mines, and I saw a little thing, and and it, it's just so funny. It's from RRT Industries. Um, Ricky Springer shared mm. it, but it says, Imagine if a dude from Captain Kang, or if the dude from Captain Kangaroo, <laughs> started thinking that he was an actual ship captain and went around <laughs> lecturing people on maritime navigation, law, logistics, etc., that's exactly what Bill Nye did, but with science. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, but he had permission from the muckety mucks that own the color blue. They told him he could do it. Oh, that's why he did it. See, that's why these things get done on scale, and the scale they get done on is the people that own all that shit said they could do it. Oh. And then well, here we are, right, with our little perspective and our little internet or TV set or group of peers or whatever, and we're supposed to make all these huge decisions about this great big world that's all surrounding us, but we only live on a little dot of it. Yeah. So I've, I've decided it's all misdirection and bogus bullshit so that you'll do what um, Trust Number One and Beth do which is not get along because one of them is a bully. Ah. Hmm. You know? And because of the bulliness, the conversation went to shit. You know? Ah. It, people want to talk about having a a, a, a a balanced argument or something, but when they tell you what the outcome is in the beginning of the fight, they're telling you that they're not listening to what you say in response. So some people aren't worth arguing with. Uh, well, yeah. I have spoken! <laughs> I See, feel so good now. <clears throat> there you go. See, that's why I pick my battles. And number one, I want, no, not trust no one, but uh, Rob Works, why do I have to send you $1,000, honey? I want to know. You got, you got explained to me. You got some explaining to do, dude. And, uh, oh, my I God, like, Grimmy like just that. gave me a horrid, mental image because wow what if mr green jeans wore blue jeans wow damn okay well, that, <laughs> that sent my rant into a whole nother direction but you know i think the point i was trying to make is some people are out there looking to argue with whoever will be in the room chatting with them in, unless you specifically agree with everything they say and that's not a conversation to me. That's just being bullied, you know? Well, yeah, you're I know people like you're that. You're a that. Yeah, it, you're a this and you're a that. If you don't agree with me is, that's not freedom. That's not right or wrong. That's just your opinion ruling a conversation. It, it's petty, but it's daily and it's constant. And now it's people that, ah, oh, wow. Okay, number one, I, I'm with you on this one. I don't get it. Well, I, um mm. See, and that's why I pick. And... That's why I pick my battles. And if I see, you know, a lot of growly, growly, grumble, grumble going on, then I have a tendency to just kind of 
back away. Unless yeah. unless something really chaps my ass, which then yeah. I have to get out the Vaseline. But no, that's a petroleum <laughs> product. I can't do that. <laughs> So, yeah. Oh, you dirty girl. <laughs> Swear. <laughs> always take it to that, huh? Yes, I do. Because well, uh, you always go to boobs, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's my weakness. Well, you know, personalities being what they are in this life, it just seems to me that some people go further out of their way to be disagreeable than others. Now, I, I'm not adverse to being disagreeable. I don't take any of it seriously, so I don't care if you agree with me or not. It's just my opinion. Whoop, whoop. Balance and nothing shifts because you agree with me or disagree with me or call me names or whatever the fuck game you're into at the time. But when you get it back, you're supposed to laugh because, like, it's funny. But no, that's not what happens. Hmm. Well. So I'm, I'm a little perplexed, Mary. The, the people that are playing are scaring me with their words. Oh, words, maybe, words, words, hey, words. Hey, maybe I'm misinterpreting the rules. <laughs> maybe you are. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe, those words were said to get you to think one way, but that's not necessarily how it's going. Because that's oh, not I don't what they really intended. How, yeah, I don't care how it's supposed to make me think. I'm not really even thinking about it. I'm thinking about beyond it. The attitude of the carrier of the message when the message is always you're a fucking idiot and you're not listening to me. And wow, that's not a good way to talk to somebody. Mm. That's the way I interpret it. That's what I read. I don't know. Maybe she didn't write that. Maybe she wrote something uh, way different, but I don't think so. And hang on. I got to let my dog out. She needs to go do her biz wax. Oh, Get, cover, well, OK, I'll cover for you. So. Thank you. Yes. So I'm over That's here right. on Freedom's Network trolling and reading because Flash is talking and that's what I do. And <laughs> T.D. Sanders shared this meme, the elimination diet. Remove anger, regret, worry, resentment, guilt, and blame. Then watch your health and life improve. Yeah. Because you know what? What's ever going on inside your mind, that's what's going to also start showing up in your body. That's just the way it works. Um, and no, Rob works. I'm not going to shut up because you says so. <laughs> <laughs> Zip, zang, pow, to the moon else. Ooh. Oh, hey, Rob works says that uh, he does have a booby tax and you get a waiver if you show your boobies. So, Flash, why don't you show your boobies? Because you're the Flash, and so I'll let you show your boobies, and that way I can get a booby waiver. <laughs> I thought you said you knew my wife. <laughs> we all know this question to the wife ends with a big no. <laughs> no way, no how, no can do. Stop while you're ahead. <laughs> Or behind. What the hell? My damn volume levels went wonky again. What the hell? I don't know, button pusher. But <laughs> as I've said many times before, boobs run the world because whatever the boobs tell you to do, <laughs> you do it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> just have to. I just have to? Well, you're all choked up. So what the hell? Well, I may have to. <coughs> ah. You may not have to. Oh. I may yeah, have to, well, but you won't have to. Okay. Well, huh? Regard regardless of my opinions about specific things, I think I'm pretty subjective about information. Ah. No. Yeah, just be hmm. Hmm. like some people go with the source of the, and I go with the way I feel about the topic. And some things don't even interest me, don't even read them. But I've been on this big kick over at Mines. I'm having a lot of fun being mean. Want to know what I'm doing? What are you doing? When I see Donald Trump things on the links, <laughs> oh. I found a Trump endorses Hillary um, advertisement. It's about a minute long. <laughs> 
And I go and post it on all the either the pro Trump or the anti Trump stuff because I want the Democrats to see that, hey, he was a Democrat for like 20 years till it didn't pay to be one. And now he's a Republican because nobody wanted him to be a Democrat. Well, and that's definitely a follow the money thing. Mm. Well, I call him a whore. But, you know, I'm a poor man, so of course I'm going to say shit like that. <laughs> but I, I think that Trump and the likes of him, I think they're just whores. They sell out their, uh, they'll, they'll sell out their word for a, a profit. Tell you anything that somebody tells them to tell you as long as they get paid. And uh-huh. he was on TV doing it for years and years, I think. I mean, didn't watch it, but I know he was there. Well, yeah, I didn't watch him because, well, he's Trump, okay. and, and I don't care. But <clears throat> but that's my point is that's what the man did for a living, you know, lie to people. And they all knew it. Nobody's surprised. All these fucking TV shows are a bunch of – they're a bunch of programming, all of it, right? <laughs> Even right down to the movies I enjoy, I know there's something to it that I shouldn't watch it because it's bad for me. But I'm addicted. Well, they're called programming for a reason. They're not lying to you. Because if they were outright in your face lying to you, you would know it. No, you, you would know it. Yeah. yeah, it would be too obvious. So there's, yeah. yeah, I know you and your kernel of truth. And me with my 10%, I don't know. Somewhere, it, it doesn't even matter what the details are, a little missy. What matters is that we at least know there's a problem. Okay, that's mm-hmm. a beginning. Yes. Okay, now. Identifying the problem is where the divide and conquer starts. Well, and to me, the problem is just, you know, personal responsibility. Uh, it just pla- it yeah, comes down to take, that. Okay. You take, you're speaking a whole nother language to people then. Because if they're voting, they don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. True. They think that is personal responsibility, is giving your power to a lying thief that is making money off every word he says at your expense. Well, yeah. And and the proof is in the fucking fluoride in the fucking water that we grew up drinking. Okay? Mm. So, uh, I didn't put it there. Nature didn't put it there. Now, there's a certain amount of fluoride that nature does put in water, but not the kind of fluoride that the government added to it. Well, no, because, you know, they've always got to do everything to excess. Well, these, okay, well, that's why I'm so upset with people being so fucking mean is the real enemy is the goddamn electric company that supplies the electricity so that we can talk to each other in the first place. Why waste it with all this fucking finger pointing and blaming and Trump did it and Obama did it. It's a fucking rigged game. You're wasting all your time with your goddamn details and your fucking history. It's a joke. That's my opinion. I don't. Uh, I don't say that. Uh, you know, Mary shares that particular side of it, but uh, you ought to. You. <laughs> damn it all, you hippie. Well, I don't know, Miss Mary. Um, or as my yeah. brother calls me, you damn conservative yeah. hippie. Yeah, I yeah. am. Yeah, well, there's things I'm conservative about, and there's things that I'm liberal about, and I—that's why I've decided all this uh, police and law and shit's all a bunch of crap. You don't need any of that. You know when you're breaking the rules. Well, yeah, I think everybody knows when they're being a douche. I'm proving it. I do not speak the language, and the people that I live amongst understand how hard it is to learn it, so they're very forgiving about it. Now, if I was like 20 or 30 years younger, they might give me a little shit. Yeah. But I'm an older man, so they, eh, okay, so you don't want to learn that. Eh, that give me a chance to practice my English. I got to do this shit in school anyway. Well, you're so an it, older man, and you're a stoner dude, and so all those like oh, yeah, yeah, like I mental guess. synapsis kind of things, you know them snappies? Those are those are getting old, and you're not snapping quite as well as you used to. Must be that arthritis. <laughs> That's what they say, but uh, <laughs> me and Hannah, me and Hannah do this little fight routine thing. She likes to like pretend she's gonna bite me, but she doesn't. Mm-hmm. But she's very vicious and very loud and aggressive. But she's wagging her tail through the whole thing and playing. Mm-hmm. 
And as long as she doesn't get too hard of a grip on, on my arm, it's all right. But mm -hmm. I'm fast enough to keep up with a three-year-old dog that likes to fight. Mm -hmm. That's not too slow. No. I mean, no. Yeah. But, you know, dinosaurs could move around and it took how many minutes for the message to get from their tail to their brain? <laughs> oh, now you're calling me a dinosaur, my tail. Well, see, fortunately for me, my tail was not coming out the back end, but coming out the front end. Oh. Yeah, got one of those magic tails. Uh, yeah. Turns every conversation into a whodunit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. Hey, it's like, it's like a really live game of, um... Clue. Yeah. Hey, that was a good movie. I like that. I'm so easily entertained. I do like those really campy ones. You know, I like the old Don Knotts movies. You yeah. know, like Mr. Lippet Remember? and those kind of yeah. things. <laughs> to be a fish. I, that's so cool. Whoever wrote that was tripping out pretty On serious. <laughs> the motherfuckers that wrote that movie were they were screaming, blazing out of their minds when they wrote that shit. Yes, they were. And they didn't share with the rest of the class, and yet we still enjoyed it. <laughs> and Don Knotts couldn't sing to save nothing. He, if it was his living, he would have been broke, right? Yeah. But they made him sing in that movie, <laughs> and he was a fish. <laughs> they even drew the fish to look like him. I know. <laughs> See, it, it, Entertainment's changed a lot over the years. Now, it's, sometimes I think it's too real. I miss the, the camp and the ridiculousness of uh, old films. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, I went through almost got a depression when they made Batman real in the 2000s. You know, I it was know. the horrible, colorful, overdone crap of the 90s, but it was fun, you know? Mm hmm. They weren't supposed to be changing your life and putting you in a direction to learn anything. It's a fucking entertainment. So bright colors, pretty girls, and lots of explosions. But in the 2000s ones, they started to get real about it. I know, and, and they, they didn't have the bam and wham. And no, they turned him into a real man instead of a caricature. Instead of a cartoon or a comic yeah. book. Yeah, see, and by making him real, then they put a bad light on the caricature that came before him to make him real yeah it's like evolution in a way you know art evolves from one step to another depending on the art yeah but yeah. my like my probably my favorite old film is either um the million pound note or uh i like to kill a mockingbird it, it's, a, it's a toss up depending on my mood if i'm gonna go for an old film See, and if I'm going to go for an old... Wow, that's tough. Cause I, yeah, it is. I yeah, really liked McClintock. Ah, I thought see. McClintock was just hilarious. Um, ah. You know, especially when... Um, at Towards the end when he gets that... The the coal or the, the fire... The little shovel thing. And he spanks her ass. And it's like, yeah, I know. But I really... <laughs> I know, that's abusive and yada, yada, blah, 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 blah. Go cry me a river somewhere else. But it was freaking funny as hell. Yeah, because it wasn't like he spent the whole movie doing it. It yeah. led up to that. That was the point of the ex of, of the expression. Yeah. Was so fed up with her, he's got to put her down. And she's too little to fight him. So that goes, there you go. Yeah, but man, oh man, she's she's pretty badass herself, you know. So it's like... Yeah, those two were made for each other. The meanest females I've ever known were smaller than me. And I'm a very small for a grown man. I'm like just above, hey, you're really short. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people go, oh, you got, what do you get? They grow up and they have these complexes about it. You know? But oh, I'll tell brother, you what. My brother's gargantuan to me. He's like six foot, whatever. Mm -hmm. So he was always way bigger, but always way, always way faster, you know, and older, a little more experienced. So until we were teenagers, he, he was always at a disadvantage. You know, now we're grown up, so it's like peers, same thing. Yeah.
Well, you know, my baby sis is the shortest one in the family. I think she's 5'1". She's she's a little thing, yeah. but I tell yeah. you what, you would not want to piss her off. No, exactly. We got more to lose down here than you tall people do. Tell you that. <laughs> you guys can afford, oh, yeah, yeah, broken arm. Hey, you break one on my arms, and I'm going to be broken. No. You yeah. know that I've in my life I've only uh, two broken fingers in a uh, a wood hauling accident. <laughs> See, and I broke my elbow doing the limbo. Mm. <laughs> wow! And I wasn't Poor even guy. doing the limbo. You know, it was mm. well. I mean, I'd gone under, and I I mean, it was pretty oh, low. Okay. Well, no, it was pretty low, but it was on a dance floor, and they had sprinkled that, that sawdusty stuff to make the dance floor slick, you know, for like polkas and that kind of stuff. Slick. And so I'm running around to get back to the back of the line for the limbo, uh, oh. and I decided to slide, and I hit a no. dry patch on the floor. And uh, and um, one of my coworkers said, Damn, you look just like those Looney Tunes cartoons where you go ass over tea kettle and then stand right back up again, which I did because I'd already had two adult beverages. And it wasn't until like three in the morning that it was like, oh, my arm really hurts. What the hell? And yeah, I had five radial fractures in my elbow <laughs> from doing my ass over tea kettle thing. So wow. not well, brilliant. I was just, I'm just amazed because... Um, I haven't seen a grown-up in a cast in years. You know, broken bones. When I was a child, yeah, you'd had somebody in your classroom every year that break an arm or a leg or something. I know, and it was way cool to get to go and, and sign Everybody their cast. Everybody signed it, did little drawings on the cast. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it was grown-up shit. But, and now, I, don't, I haven't seen a kid with a cast on his arm. Well, I haven't been to the States in a while, but... I don't know. Growing up, everybody had them except me. I can't. Yeah, it's been yeah, a while since lucky. I've seen seen yeah. a real cast. I mean, you you see braces and all this other fun shit, which is better because those casts. I mean, I would see classmates <laughs> that were shoving a pencil down there to scratch that itch down in the cast, <laughs> or you know, taking wow, fly swatters apart. Or, wow. <laughs> And if it is, don't ever chew on the eraser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I tell you danger, what. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. You take wow. that cast off and that, it reeks. It smells horrid because there's all kind of dead skin cells and shit like that in there. And so, yeah. That wasn't so much why I brought it up. It's just such a rarity. At, and I have, I grew up with things that have disappeared in my life. I know. Isn't it weird? Like it's called freedom, technology and advancement. Freedom of, Freedom of speech. Yeah. I don't know where these people are that think that they don't have freedom of speech because they got it. They say shit and write shit. What's wrong with your freedom of speech? You seem to have it. Yeah. I have it. I'm not missing out on anything. Because their freedom of speech is supposed to include their ability to tell you to shut the fuck up. Hmm. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Freedom of speech. <laughs> that lady, that lady's got a dick and ooh, she will slap you in the face with it. That old freedom of speech bitch. <laughs> okay. okay, let me go get my dog now. I'll be oh, back. Okay. Okay, dog. That's okay cuz Rob Works just shared um from Zero Hedge, the fragile generation. Yeah, and sadly. And you know, parents have got to own up to that one. Because they did that. It's in, you know, they're, oh, we can't have little Johnny playing on the jungle gym or falling off of the slipper slide or any of this other fun stuff. Cry any Christmas, the slipper slides and jungle gyms we had when we were kids. Good Lord. They were I like know. totally awesome. Well, look at some of the stuff they put in the city, though, that was, was too dangerous to even play on it. You know, they made slides out of freaking metal that would get hot in the sun in L.A. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fiberglass, you know, shit like that that would get hot. Because uh, I guess, you know, in times, wood would splinter. Instead yes. of having somebody come out and sand it every once in a while. You know, they did away with it and ruined it. Yep. 
And well, yeah. oh, we had some beastly slipper slides, and then somebody decided to be ever so safety conscious, safety. and decided yeah. one of the great big slipper slides that had the the wumpy thing in the middle of it. They decided that that was too dangerous for the children to play on, so they took the slide part off, but they left the posts up there that went up because apparently they ran out of money or something. I don't know. But us kids would climb up to the top of the damn thing and we would slide down on the poles that, that held the slide then. <laughs> I mean, we were just, yeah. Daredevils. Well, I'm, you know that's what, what I'm gonna kids po- did. I'm posting a picture on the RLM for you to see, Miss Mary. Okay. Because I'm exploring my my uh, abilities on the RLM. And usually I, I don't do this stuff when I try to do radio. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> it would be funnier, though, if they looked like a Venus flytrap. <laughs> okay. Improve the joke, funny guy. Oh, the, the idea was, you know, I'm hanging out with Mary on the dork table and scrolling through my uh, minds thing, and, and I thought, boy, that looks dorky. <laughs> it does. Yeah, but see, I evolved and went, hey, I bet I could post that on the RLM without shutting anything down accidentally or blowing up the computer and it worked i'm Yay, good hey you are good flash okay what i'll is be that? like Vinny before you know it all mr uh ta- paste and something what does he call it paste and some post grab steel i don't, I don't know. know he's Vinny he's pain. everywhere he's everywhere well i heard him on the uh freaker's ball did you with Grim- yeah what was that last week i think yeah mm. Because he called in to report to the Grimner man about what's going on. And, you know, the the funny thing is I followed Vinny on this damn uh, bunker thing. I met Vinny a long time back. You mm-hmm. know, it was like two or three years now. So I've known him for a while, and, and he told me about this stuff that he was been through and sent me the videos. Well, you know, they were available. Show me where I'd find it. Mm-hmm. So I found out all about this Bundy guy and, you know, Vince's play and where he went and all that crap. Mm-hmm. And then when it came back up in Oregon, I thought he was going to go again, but he didn't. And then he got weird and blamed it on all kinds of shit. So who knows what that was all about. But when it came to Vegas to go into trial, then he went back, got involved again. Mm-hmm. So We've had somebody actually that we personally know through the interwebs physically doing this on site. It amazes me. I'm in Denmark, Mary. Come on. Yeah. You well, know, see, Vinny's you're the roving reporter people. from Denmark, though. Well, but nothing happens here. But Vinny's but the guy. That, if, Vinny, shit. If things go to shit in Denmark, we know we're in trouble. Oh, yeah. No, there's a steel plant in the backyard rocking constantly not 24 hours a day they wouldn't work the <clears throat> the danes would never work a contract like that but they do have occasional night ships when they probably get bigger shit they need to do and they got to do it in a certain amount of time mm-hmm. and they'll adjust the schedule but these danes won't work a 40 hour week ah no 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 that's a no no here no 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 big waste oh, okay they get, yeah they're convinced that they get more productivity out of their people by working them less than more. Actually, I can understand that. Well, it's the standard here. This is what I see. It's how people are. But the the thing that they don't have is that American joviality bullshit that we have. You know, like you go into an American restaurant and everybody's telling dirty jokes and having a good time you go into an english restaurant and everybody's ignoring you because you haven't been formally introduced yeah 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 the shy cultures you know the americans well once upon a time not anymore maybe but my day man i got in an airplane once going to england from la mm-hmm. you know so we go to la to new york so and they so from New York, it was nonstop to, to uh, Heathrow. Uh-huh. And on the back of the plane, there's like six or eight of us all sitting there talking, drinking, and carrying on through the whole flight. Mm-hmm. And now the last flight I had, everybody on the plane was so tense and uptight, they didn't even look at each other. We were so miserable about the flying that there was nothing to say. Oh, uh, that sucks. 
Well, that's the feeling I got from it from the early days when I did it to the present, the last time I did it. And that was four years ago. So I, I would assume it's gotten worse. My brother complained about it. Huh. Grimmy's yeah, he said back. That it wasn't, wasn't too crazy about it. Where'd Grim go? Would Grim go have to go uh, make some coffee there for uh, the barman? Possibly. Possibly. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to read a quote that Rob Works added. People oh, may finally okay. look back and wonder how we could have been so foolish to hand total control of our economy over to an unelected committee of bureaucrats with a mediocre track record and then expect them to get it right forever. <laughs> Albert Einstein. Hmm. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. It's Ooh, it's like, well. wow. Well, you know, P.T. Barnum was really good at that. He had one about that, too. There's a sucker born every minute. Obviously, we are a country of, or actually, we're a world of suckers. <clears throat> well, but. yeah. Boy, I tell you, I cringe. Yeah, I got flags up and down my street, Danish flags. I mean, these people are, they got pole, yeah, 100 foot fucking tall flagpoles and different flag dip for different holidays and shit. Wow. <laughs> when, when me and Sir got married the day that we actually did it, the legal thing uh, is the day that the, the government has this national drill with bells and whistles. <laughs> it's, it's, it's wild. Hmm. So if I, as long as I, I can hear, I'll never forget the anniversary because it's the day that the government makes them blow off all the whistles. Ah. Ah, well, there you go. So when you hear the whistles, it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> well, if I ever get to that stage of marriage, I haven't got that far yet. Ah. It's only been a few years. Well, true. Now I'm still into, hey, I still remember the date. Yay. Yeah. I mean, I could be, I, I could have amnesia or something and, hey, I can't remember what day it was. Who are ah. you? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It was a amnesia joke. <laughs> ah. Who are you and what did you do with my wife? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Miss Kate. Yeah. All well, right. Miss Kate did a way. quote too. I was trying to make a joke. Here I know you was trying to make a joke, and you was make trying to make a joke of your wife, and your wife is funny as hell, especially when <laughs> she does the Swedish Chef. <laughs> 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 she we she does that perfect, preference. yes. Um, but Miss Kate mm. did a or asked for a quote, and this is yeah. the anarchistic definition of the state: the embodiment of the principles of invasion in an indi in an individual or a band of individuals, assuming to act as representatives or masters of the entire people within a given area. That's from Benjamin Tucker. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds accurate. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You know, and, and but the reality of all this bullshit, if you really want my opinion, is it's all about money and got nothing to do with nothing else but money. There you have it. I've spoken again. That's twice in one show. I cr I'm gonna make a record. Hey, I know, I know you have. Oh, and Rob Works said he could, he care le I care less about the messenger than the message. Yes, the message is always yeah. the, yeah. the important thing. But yeah. there's an awful lot of people out there that get all hung up on the message. I actually really? watched a, a video yesterday yeah. um, that had Michael Moore in it. He was about 300 pounds lighter. <laughs> But it was really a very interesting video, you know, about, um, well, it was the one that you shared, uh, Death by Medicine or something like that. I think you'd, you'd shared that, or you tagged me on it over on Minds or something. Oh, I don't, uh, yeah, whatever. But Michael Moore was in that, and I was like, I had to look a couple of times, it's, is that Michael Moore? Holy shit, he's about 200 pounds lighter in that one, that must be an old oh, movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, because when he got rich and, you know, and the state was fucked, you know, and the government were a bunch of oppressive cunts. Yeah. Because he had $50 million and he could say whatever he wanted. <laughs> ah. You got to either be really poor or really rich because there's no middle ground on freedom of speech. Really? 
Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Sure. Hmm. I thought it, I thought freedom of speech was all middle ground. Try getting freedom of speech without paying your cable bill. Oh, I can still stand out or in my front yard and, and speak yeah, all I want to. It's just that there's I not going to be that many you. people. I know you won't. Then what will I do? Um, mm. I don't know. Would you curl up in the fetal position? No, I don't think so. Wow. And then these crazy people, they want to talk about welfare, and they got shit like congressional pensions, and congressional medical aid. These fuckers are stealing from everybody. And then they give crumbs down to the poorest of the poor, and then they whine about the poor people taking advantage of the system. <laughs> well, you know, the way they, they, they could fix that is they could, they could quit mandating that you use everything that's FDA and AMA and NIH and all that other fun stuff approved and let people make their own informed decisions about their own medical care and their own health and their own welfare. And then, you know what? If things go to shit, they got no one to blame. But, oh, no, because then the insurance companies can't play their little con yeah. game. Yeah. And, okay. yeah. yeah, that that Dangleberry no. death care was written by the insurance companies and Big Pharma and a bunch of lawyers that wanted to get their 20% cut as well. Okay, uh, well, why all the dickering over, you know, this thing and that thing? The game is rigged, okay? Do we agree on that at all, Mary? Yes, we do agree on that. Oh, okay, so how you play a rigged game or who plays a rigged game makes no difference. It's the game that is fucked up. Yeah. There you go. But rather than admit that, We've got millions and millions of people convinced it's only because their leader isn't in power. Yeah. And every time we have a fucking leader, we have the same problems. It don't matter if it's Republican or Democrat. It's always the same. Well, that's why you don't see aliens coming here saying, take me to your okay. leader, because they've ah. seen our frickin' leaders, and they know. No, no. The bot, nah, the, it would probably be the bacteria that would kill them. Anyway. <laughs> probably. <laughs> my, my, my world is a lot smaller than yours, I think. But if, if we were playing on a, on a game of honest, you know, with honesty involved in it, we wouldn't get the results we get. True. There's not a very, that's not a popular stand. These idiots want secrecy and privacy and speaking a fucking secret code called legalese that nobody knows what it is. And, yeah. And build your life around this mumbo jumbo performed by a group of nine in black robes. You know, what the fuck? Are, and then tell everybody there's a separation between church and state. No, there isn't. The state is the church. Duh. Most, man, if you can't do without either of those two things, or at least one of them, and most people don't. Most folk cling to both. Yeah. Good God. And if they don't cling to it, they bitch about uh, another person's religion based on the shit that they read and see on the Internet or TV. Well, there's a way to judge shit. Oh, yeah. You know oh. what I found worked out for me? What's that? I don't live where those fucking people are. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That I, was that simple. Yep. I saw a video on Fakey Book earlier <laughs> today. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine had shared, and he's not a Trumple Stillskin fan at all. But um, sure. he shared a video of a bunch of priests going by, and one of them made a special point to switch his rod from one hand to the other and give Trump a wide berth to make sure he didn't have to shake his hand. And this friend said, you know, that really is freaking rude. The least you can do is lean in and say, I don't like you. But, uh, you know, to me, well, there are so many people out there that are supposedly, you mm. know, the... The uh, spiritual leaders, you know, they're the they're supposed to be your um, 
intermediary between you and God, which, hello, you don't need an intermediary. But <clears throat> these people that are supposed to be the example, they're supposed to be the righteous ones, the all of this mm -hmm. yada, yada, mm -hmm. blada, blada. Mm -hmm. And they yeah. behave in man yeah. in ways that they, you know, anyone else, they would give them um, 10 Our Fathers and, and 20 Hail Marys if they went to confession and got that shit. That, that's the old Catholic girl in me talking. Uh -huh. Making me all excited over here, Miss Mary, <laughs> talking like a Catholic girl. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell my wife. She'll get mad at me. <laughs> wow. Talking like a Catholic. I don't even know what the... I mean, I understand the words, but there's no feeling to that to me. It's just like Catholic girl. What the fuck is that? Okay. Uh, it's I, just I another one of those Bible thumper I, things. Right. But, I mean, I understand the weakness behind I need a thing, you know, to run me, to decide and explain. I understand all that shit. I even think I got one sometimes because I do so, you know, I get so lucky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So there you go. But maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> You know, I'm, you know, maybe this is hell for me, and, and, and when I die, I'm going to go to something better. <laughs> Ooh, hey, yeah. there you go. Well, everybody on the interwebs lately, especially the last year or two, has been very down on uh, the world. You know? Yeah. Everything's fucked. And then these groups, Mary. Like the girl I put up the thing, she says, what the world would be like without men. And then she spent five minutes talking about it, it would be terrible for me. I don't like that. <laughs> That's not a very good idea. I don't think and it's I, a good idea either because I kind of like men. Right, right, right. But, you know, she was saying that she looked at it from a different angle for a moment. And, hey, look, I changed my mind and this is what I think. Mm -hmm. Stay in. I thought it was a, a pretty, pretty interesting way to put it. You yes. Know? Yes, it was. You def I think I think the reason I hijacked you for the dork table because you're a girl. Because <laughs> I could have got Mr. Vincent Van Goof to join me if I'd have asked him. He loves to do the radio. He'll do the radio in his sleep if he could do it. I think he would. Right. But I chose you over even my buddy Vincent. And I like doing radio with Vincent. I even asked him. If you wanted to go do a This is No Time for Rational Thinking, part two. <laughs> Ooh, hey, look, there's a circle quote. Mm. Growing always leads to change. Change does not always lead to growth. That is so true. So true. And Beth, I like that Thomas Jefferson quote, too. Yeah, I, and I, I proved that to her when I tried to make a meatloaf. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Never mind. It was okay. A, oh, that was true. It was a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Meat loaf. That does sound off good. The, off the, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Anyway, I may so have where, to get some hamburger out. This, where are we on this twenty and seventeen? Anyway, uh, February the third, twenty eighteen. Yeah. Oh my God! I was even thinking the wrong year. You know what? 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 You know what the key to life is? What's that? Being flexible. Ooh, Gumby. <laughs> no, not stupid flexible. <laughs> hey, but, you can be stupid flexible too. Yeah, and then you end up in a group. No, I don't want no, to. No, then you end up I, in a cast because you say, hold my beer, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> they don't always end up in a cast. I've seen no. a lot of guys survive the shit that they do out there and go, wow, how do you do that? Yeah. Why it looks like did the you do that? stupidest thing to ever do and you did it four times but yeah <laughs> wow mm. yeah. yes oh yeah. my bike it's broken mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> and he, yeah the kid that would wreck his bike doing something stupid and then he was so poor he would cry because his bike was broken and his legs all mangled <laughs> mm. yeah well there, the neighborhood had had a, a variety when i was growing up you know there was comfort, and there was, hey, I can't afford that. You know, we actually had some of that as well. Ooh, an H.L. Right, Mencken right, right. quote. Ooh. But when, when, when we were children, we didn't 
we didn't think of people as rich or poor or any of that. that came years later when we you know were introduced to the acquisition of funds yeah oh you know what the um growing up <laughs> like a block and a half away from us and they were he was the dad was our dentist which he used to creep me out that's probably why i'm not real crazy about going to dentists but because because every time he would give you an injection or he'd start drilling he'd go and it's like oh (laughs) i know you're doing it it was it was freaking creepy but give me well he's there little missy (laughs) (laughs) but their house was so cool it was the only brick house on the block it was so cool and it had an entryway so it had Ooh. two front doors. It had this the front door that uh, was like a storm door, and it also had the, the metal door, or, well, it was wooden, wooden door, and then you had this little, like, little bitty hallway that you would take your coats off and you'd hang them up and you'd take your shoes off and you'd tuck them under, and then there was another screen door or, or storm door that you had to go through. And we just, you know, as little kids, it was like, wow. They're really rich. They have two front uh, doors. <laughs> well, but that okay. was our concept of really See, rich. That's what I mean. And I remember this kid Roger because uh, he was upset more because the bike was broken and he didn't have the money. You know, his family couldn't afford to buy him another bike at at a whim. Mm-hmm. You know, he would have gotten a week or so. Eh, I got no bike. And that was more important to him than his hurt foot and leg. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, you know, and that was the way with with us, too. Because, I mean, I think us five oldest kids all learned to ride a bike on the same bike. Yeah, what the fuck? There was always replacement parts. And I, we had fun. I guess we had fun being poor, if that's what it was. Because I don't, I don't really think of it that way. It, it, it may be, you know, depends on how much money a person has to judge your past with. <laughs> well, I mean, they anyway, can... I, I'm over here on Minds. I got this guy's link open. He wrote, I, should I name him? Yeah. What? I want to read yeah. his link. It's only a couple paragraphs. Yeah, it's really ahead. well written. I don't know if, if he originally wrote it, but it's not a quote here. And uh, it's not accredited to anybody else's writing that I can see. So I'm going to give it a try. Okay. And his name? You're, you're, his name is Bo. He's over on um, Minds.com. And it says, well, the spin doctors can do a, what? Yeah, it's a bad, bad start. Well, the spin doctors can do is mind boggling. Judy Wallman Trudeau, a professional genealogy researcher in southern Ontario, was doing some personal work on her own family tree. She discovered that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's great-uncle Remus Trudeau was hanged for horse-stealing and train robbery in Alberta in 1889. Both Judy and Prime Minister Trudeau share this common ancestor. The only known photograph of Remus shows him standing on the gallows in the new Alberta territory. On the back of the picture Judy obtained during her research is this inscription. Remus Trudeau, horse thief, sent to Alberta Territorial Prison 1865, escaped 1887, robbed the Alberta Rail Flyer six times, caught by Royal (laughs) Canadian Mounted Police detectives, convicted and hanged in 1889. So I'm not even done. Hold on. I got I halfway know. through this. So Judy recently emailed the prime minister for information about their great uncle, Remus. Believe it or not, Prime Minister Trudeau's staff sent this response back. Remus Trudeau was a famous cowboy in the Alberta Territory. His business empire grew to include acquisition of valuable equestrian assets and intimate dealings with the Canadian Pacific Railroad. (laughs) Beginning in 1885, he developed several years of his life. He devoted several years of his life to government service, finally taking leave to resume his dealings with the railroad in 1887. He was a key player in a vital investigation run by the renowned Royal Canadian Mounted Police. In 1889, Remus passed away suddenly 
during an important civic function held in his honor when the platform upon which he was standing collapsed. <laughs> okay. I read that a few days ago. The guys it just got boosted. put that together. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. I real, But see, that is the key to the door that I feel I went through. I don't judge your door. You know, you're, you got where you got, right? Uh-huh. Okay, well, it's things like this that it's so obvious to me that they write one thing, but nah, that's not what happened. <laughs> My that's wife shakes one. her fucking head when I take it to the level of gravity or the rotation of the earth. Because my wife is an educated young lady, and she has her knowledge. Mm -hmm. And, you know, without a frying pan upside the head, I'm entitled to think and say whatever I fucking want to. <laughs> Doesn't, you know, I mean, a, a relationship with other people should not be dependent on the two of you agreeing about shit. That's not necessarily a good foundation anyway. I mean, there's got to be more to life with people than just, oh, yeah, everything you say is right and true. And, oh, I look up, oh, you're so wonderful. No, there's got to be something else. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. that's why me and Cirque survive is because we think different shit about certain things, but we ignore them. <laughs> 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 and, you know, until they're brought up. Uh-huh. And when they're brought up, she stands her ground, I stand my ground, and that's that. It doesn't, it's not like a, you're a fucking idiot because you don't see it my way. Yeah. It's, that's, that's what you were taught. That's what you were taught to believe. That's what you believe. Mm -hmm. I wasn't taught to believe that. So I got to make up my own fucking shit. And my fucking world is way cooler than your world. <laughs> Well, because it's your world, and if it wasn't way cooler than her world, then you would go and probably invade her world, which, oh, hey, you no, did. No, I did that. Yeah, <laughs> see, yeah. But I'm talking about the one in my head that, yeah. you know, hey, yeah. I have to express it, or you don't know it's there. If you just looked at people, you wouldn't know their stand on any fucking position about anything. You have to talk to them. Yeah. And sometimes you got to even give the other guy a chance to speak and listen to the answer. Not judge the answer before they even say it. <laughs> and sometimes, sometimes, oh, hey, and there goes the whore Monica. Sometimes, <laughs> if you don't really understand what they said, you need to ask questions, but you need to do it in a not-so-snarky way, unless you're just having a fun banter. And then you can be a bit snarky if they're prepared for the snarky. Well, but, isn't it, isn't it the, just the damnedest thing, though, that the Prime Minister of, Tr of Canada... And he's no better than Trump. I tell everybody what I think about these politicians. And then you find something juicy like this. Yeah. Okay. Now, what if this is just a story and none of it's true? Then See, it's, it's still a funny of... as fuck story. Exactly. But what if it is true? <laughs> it's, still, <laughs> it's even funnier than that. It's like, wow, you just passed funny and went into hysterical land when yes. it's true. But yes. just the story. Okay, that is what the United States did with the Constitution by changing one word. Oh yeah. That's how serious this whole fucking thing is. Every comp every uh, complex argument they all have is all based on changing the word for to of, and started this nightmare rolling. It took a long time to get here because it's done in paper with words. Mm -hmm. But that was the door opener. If they didn't change that, they couldn't change everything else. Legally. It wouldn't have worked legally. Yeah. And we're all suckered into this believe in the legal system when nobody fucking knows what it is. What happened to, like, don't kill anyone and smoke some pot and, you know, try not to drive too slow when you're in traffic. <laughs> oh, you know, and that's what I liked about some. I don't remember who it was that shared Bill Hicks yesterday. But it got me started on a Bill Hicks escapade. <laughs> and I found one, um, what was it, about evolution, I think. I think that was the one. Where he was talking about, you know, um, on the seventh day, God rested. And then, <laughs> and then he looked down on the earth and he's surveying what he had created and really started squinting and really started looking and went, 
How'd all that pot get there? <laughs> I must have done that when I smoked a doobie on the third day. Of course, that's the same day that I created the possum. But, you know, and it's just freaking hilarious. But, you know, mm -hmm. some of the things that he was talking about where, you know, you know the difference between right and wrong. Everybody knows the difference between right and wrong. Right. Well, what, what, okay, here's a good topic, too, is what MSM, movies, radio, all this shit's done is changed the way that we receive that information. Yeah. And it's made the absolute most disgusting shit common, and it's made all the good shit stupid and weak and ridiculous. Yeah. So we're, we're just living this backward fucking life from what it's supposed to be. Well, I'm not. But I could be if I chose to go to a city and engage in that shit. That's what I call that. It's a bunch of immature fucking wannabes telling you what you can and cannot do. It's all about the other guy. It's never about the person doing any of the talking. Yeah. I try to not do that. You know, I go, I have a boring life and I'm proud of it. There you go. And you know, there's a lot of times that I, um, I sit here and I think, God dang, people in the city, they must just be rude as hell. They must be this. They must be that. Because, you know, I'm going with all these stereotypes that, that I mm. hear from all over the place. And, you know, yeah. from some experience of my own. And mm. then with the job that I have where I get to meet people from across the country and sometimes mm. different countries and, um, you know, get to interact with them a little bit and I find out, ooh, not everyone in big city is rude and not wanting to speak to you or not wanting to. And I wonder, you know, sometimes is it just the environment? That's where nature over nurture kind of thing, I think, comes in. Because, you know, you take that same person and you put them in a smaller town atmosphere. Mm. When they're in the city, they behave one way. When they're in the smaller town atmosphere, they behave another way. Uh, and it's like... Yeah. And what? Yeah, I do. Yeah, definitely. Because yeah. in the city, you're anonymous. Who gives a fuck? Who knows you? Who's going to see you again? There's thousands of cities. Don't worry about it. Well, yeah. But well, and that's I not get, how I live. I get I live that. Differently. But, you know, but, when I go to the city... I'm uh, still the regular old me. I mean, I, I smile at people. I say hi. I open doors. Yeah. I do all that other fun stuff. And I have people tell me, stop making eye contact. Why? You have yet to be violated by the evil forces, I say. Uh, yeah. No, I have. I have dealt with some of the... No, 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 no. I don't mean like you're some kind of baby that's never been uh, hurt or broken. I'm just saying that you don't deal with... You're not a victim. You're not like a professional victim. All no, the time I'm not. Whining about, oh, this happened on that. Oh, that happened to me there. No, blah, 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 blah. Wan, wan, wan. All that crying and moaning shit. You don't do that. No. You kind of make a joke about, well, I bashed my elbow, but this is the stupid story that goes with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you make a joke out of it instead of, yeah, instead of the wine. So your way is just, to me, more, uh, I don't know. It's more, it, it makes me feel more comfortable ah. you know a person's tone comes across in many ways miss mary yes it does you know and to be accused of being stupid eh, that's not so bad it's being an idiot and not knowing it that would hurt yeah Ooh. <laughs> you know? and i do have to admit i have done that a time or two myself and then when it gets pointed out to that. me and i actually acknowledge it and go yeah, Whoa. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> damn you that was it? pretty stupid <laughs> Yeah, if I would have hit puree, you mean no more whoopee? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, no more blender for you, cross-eyed Mary. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, people, ah, there's so many ways to look at stuff, and there's not at the same time. I don't, very complicated um, kind of an idea. Mm -hmm. You know, things are black and white, and then they're not. It depends on the person looking at whatever it is, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And this Trying to control how the rest of everybody else sees it your way is crazy. It ain't never going to happen. 
No. You know, that's why I've accepted that anarchy is not a group that you join. Because if some fucking moron out there tried to tell me he's in an anarchy group, I don't want to talk to him no more. Yeah. That's the absolute opposite of the fucking point of what anarchy is about. Yeah. You don't need a group to support you. You're an anarchist. Fuck's sake. What's wrong with you? Yeah. You don't run around telling everybody what you are. You are. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't you, need to. You just and and really that word has gotten so many negative connotations because they've mm. they've gotten it to where it now equates with a terrorist or a lunatic and, you know, whack job, if you will. But, you know, if you look at all of the crazies that do shit like that, most mm. of them are statists. Most of them are statists. Mm -hmm. You know, I wonder. Okay, here again. Here's this. The other thing is, most of the statists that I have ever encountered put themselves in that box. I didn't put them in that box. They represented it to me. Yes. I was responding to them. Yes. Now I stand. I stand. I don't want to be connected to any of this fucking horse shit. I just like chatting it up in the RLM and reading links and learning how I lost my freedom and shit like that. Stuff that matters to me, you know? Lost your freedom. Did you put it somewhere really safe that you knew you'd be able to find it later and then you forgot where you put it? I, that's what I do. Are, are you sitting down, Miss Mary? Yes, I am. And I'm actually Had... sitting corrected because Grimmy said that the reason people don't make eye contact is that when you look into the eyes of the average person, you can all you can see is vacant. <laughs> wow, not me. Oh no, I don't play it like that. But are you are you, have you got a hot beverage? Yes, I do, and I'm not taking a drink, but I am crocheting okay. while we're talking. Cuz I'm going to tell you what happened to me. Okay. And how I lost my freedom. Uh-oh. My parents. <gasps> See, it always goes back to the parents. Okay, pull yep. up pull up a seat on the couch. Let's those, talk about this. <laughs> those dirty, rotten, you know, the, my rotten old mom did. What'd she do? Well, there's a part of the birth certificate that says informant on it. And she filled it out. Oh. Yeah. So, as it turns out, what a birth certificate is, is not what they told me it was when I was growing up. Oh, no. I had to grow up and become an adult before somebody would fucking tell me what a birth certificate was for. And when I found out, boy, I was on, I was one unhappy little dork. <sighs> I hate when that happens. And but, you know, you know what else I hate about that? Because now that no. I know all of these fun things, mm. I, I was, I was one of those people wanting to find Dangleberry's birth certificate. I got to admit the Royals it. Don't have birth certificates. Well, yeah, I know that now. Okay, he's a he's a blue blood, and he's an English citizen, so it don't matter on top of it. Ah. His dad was from Kenya when Kenya was English, when the English owned Kenya. Uh huh. Okay, so when Obama's father was born, he was born into that British thing. Yep. Now. The English, uh, I'm, I'm half English. My mother is English. So I got a little bit of reading behind me on this one. Uh -huh. The English do not like to split your um, citizenship with anybody. Yeah. They want to own you completely. They don't like to share their toys. So they don't like so, the dual citizenship shit. <clears throat> they will not, yeah, they go out of their way to not do that. Okay. And in Mr. Obama's case, his mother was white but his father was a british subject so the law before 1960 went to the mother's right or to the father if the father was british so was the child after obama's birthday then the law changed to the mother's right <laughs> oh yeah when i told my brother that he he was expecting all kinds of hoopla from the uh, immigration and all these people. And I told him about the Obama thing. And he went, oh. So he told his lawyer and his lawyer, yeah, that's right. Next thing you know. Wow. 
So the amazing thing about all this bullshit law is you can take the worst horrible fucking thing like smoking pot, mm-hmm. make it illegal, and then one day just, well, it's not illegal anymore. Hmm. What? Wait a minute. Yesterday you were just telling me, and today you're telling me, so where does the truth and law collide or even pass each other in a hallway? You know? Oh, they don't. They don't pass each Never. other in a hallway. They're, they're not even in the same um, solar system. <laughs> then why do we have all all this support? I don't see all of this support. I've seen, I think, maybe a half a dozen people on RLM that openly support what what's going on in any way, shape, or form. And the rest of the folks seem they're tolerating it because that's what there is. And there's not much you can do about it except try not to engage it. Yeah. Right. But the loudest voice is the ones that support the monster that's devouring humanity. (laughs) Well, but that... mm, mm, All the knowledge is right in front of you getting shit electricity. They want more nukes. These fucking people in power out of their fucking minds. And they have the support of the voter. (laughs) Well, yeah. That's That's why this happens, because these idiots give them the power. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'd you'd think we could choose better idiots to follow than the fucking idiots that we get stuck following. Oh, and see, there's the key. We don't get to choose. And I am going to change the subject, because mental... Hey, old cakes. Mental. He shared the way coolest Imgur thingy. It's a fishy that's jumping through a hoop. It's just the coolest thing ever. This guy trained his fish to jump through a hoop. Trained his fi- okay. Oh, yeah. I see it. Let me open. All right. Let me try not to blow up the computer. <laughs> it's trained cool. His fish to, to jump through a hoop. Jump a hoop. Well, isn't that the weirdest thing? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what he used to, you know, treat wise. Maybe it was just a coincidence and he got it on film. Who knows? Wow, mental. That's why I that's why I, walk, I follow his shit because he always finds. Uh, I, I found a good picture for him the other day of these two Japanese guys done up as Nazis with mohawks and color. And it was the funniest damn thing you ever saw. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Oh, come on. Just kids having fun. I mean, I crying know. out loud. Yeah. Who, who takes you seriously until you're about 80 in the first place? You know? Uh, nobody. And I'm wondering, Grimmy says it, it's all going into the vacuum of space. Is that vacuum a Hoover or a Eureka or a Dyson? I want to know. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> nothing into nothing is nothing. That's right, Rob Works. But you know what? If you have a real number... Like uh-huh. a real boy, like Pinocchio turning into a real boy. If you have a real number and you put a zero behind it, all of a sudden that real number is more. Yeah. Like this link I'm going to put up on the RLM. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're in yeah, trouble. I'd, Mr. I'd learn Bar! To, I'm learning, learning how to cooperate in a meaningful fashion. Hey, hey. Woody. It's, uh, Woody, one of the Bitcoin boys. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> One of the Bitcoin are... boys. Uh, Ooh, that yeah. <laughs> almost sounds like, you know, gangsta kind of thing. Only cybernetic. <laughs> it's beyond, yeah, this is beyond my ability, the Bitcoin thing. Kelly tried to get me involved in it when she was like, it was cheap in 2014 in Scotland. I don't remember what it was, but it wasn't what it turned into. Yeah. Well, so even even at the the dip it's taken down to five. It, well, I would have still been sitting real pretty with money. But I think, wow, that's a lot of money, you know, to go up 20 grand a coin and all this. And Nah, that's that's a little bit too much for me. But it's fun to watch the guys do it. Oh, yeah. Well, and it's like it. Grimmy said, you know, a Bitcoin is still worth a Bitcoin. You know, so... I don't know. I whether, don't know. Whether you value no. your digital currency on fiat currency or not. Well, it seems to me some, some form of verbal contract as well as something in ink somewhere. 
Yeah. You know, this, this isn't just people throwing shit at a wall and hoping it doesn't fall down. There's <laughs> more to it. Uh, I think there's more to it because you have more people believing in it. But that's well, that's in my world. But understanding how it works is not everybody's game. Oh, yeah. And I don't even want to. I don't even want to. I mean, after fractional reserve banking, I've just pretty much, that's about as much about finance as I ever want to bother with. That was enough. You're going to tell me, okay, it's not moral and it's not ethical, but it's legal and we do it. Therefore, bend over and take it. And I, wow, you guys are fucking kidding me. I wasn't going to tell you that. But that's the way it is. Oh, yeah. In reality. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ. If I wanted to own stuff and be a big shot, I'd go to my family and do that shit. But that's not what I want. Yeah. Well, see, the, mm. the most finances that I have to deal with anymore, besides paying my bills, is yeah. my yeah. daily thing at work of having to balance the deposit. And I tell you what, the hardest huh. frickin' thing in the world to find is three cents. When you're off <laughs> three cents, it's huh. like, son of a bitch. Because you know you okay. got the right amount of pennies. Why in the yeah. hell am I off three cents? <laughs> that sucks. I did that the other day. It's like, God dang it. Where in the hell's that three cents? Mm. Right. And that's just distraction to stray you off the fact that somebody stole 10000 the other day. Oh, yeah. It, it, these numbers are too big. I harp on this and I don't know how many times I fucking said it. But they're so big that they're, they're not real. If you take yeah. it seriously... I think that qualifies for some form of mental illness. Yes, it does. Well, and that's what my Uncle Tommy says. He says, you put enough zeros behind a number and it suddenly becomes unreal. And yeah, that's not, that's not what possible. they that's what they count on. They count on you going, whoa. Well, it's like that link I read last night. 25 mm. quadrillion dollars. What the yeah, right. fuck? What? Yeah. Dollars. Dollars. Mm-hmm. It's insane. They couldn't. Uh, tw uh, well, anyhow, me and you agree, right? Yeah. There's two of us, but we have a, a planet supposedly filled, chock filled with folks that want this and want that. And everybody wants something different than the other guy. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know how they made all these political beliefs and religions of other people have my business. Well, that is part of the Western civilization. Now, if you go into other cultures, not I'm civilizations, in another but, culture. That's well, why maybe I'm missing something. Well, but your culture is still part of Western civilization. But if you were to go like among the Aborigines or the rainforest people down in South America, how do it you would, know? Never done it. I seen documentaries on uh -huh. on the internet, Ooh. and so it must be true. But, I saw a moon landing on the internet, Mary. Come on. How do you know it's real? I saw Bilbo get out with fucking Gollum inside the mountain. I saw that too, and that was pretty right. sneaky of him. <laughs> right, but they can, you know, they can manufacture anything. Today. Yes. Yes, they can. If you can. If you can dream it, there's a company out there hungry enough to make it for you, no matter what harm it does to anybody. You yeah. can get your shit done. Well, that's not a result of freedom. That's a result of cre greed and selfishness. But we're taught anybody can get there if they work hard enough. And yeah, and their dad drops forty billion, forty million dollars their way or so. That might help a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You know, but no, not anybody wants that kind of shit either. What about just being normal? Whatever the fuck normal is to me has a value. Yeah. And to me, I'm as normal as I want to be. <laughs> well, value is a very personal thing, I think. <gasps> and and we've allowed others to tell us what to value and what has value. And we need to all kind of decide for ourselves what the hell we deem valuable and then go from there. Wow. The, well, then you start nitpicking and name calling and itemizing and all that crap you're trying to get away from no i'm not talking I, I'm about talking worth about i'm talking value real value yeah. what is how valuable 
how do you identify it without putting it in a group thing? You know what I mean? How do you hold it up to just morals or character and not give it a, a physical, something visual kind of name to it that you've got to see to prove it? You know what I mean? Or not? Well, see, and I really value my time. I, I place a very high value on my time because it's okay. my time and I'm mm -hmm. only allowed so much and nobody bothered to let me know <laughs> how much I am allowed. So I am going to be very particular about how I spend my oh, time. Oh, you clever. Yeah. Yeah. See how I am. Sometimes I'm I actually quite you. witty. <laughs> hey. Are, are you aware that the idiots want more nuclear on this planet? Yes, I'm aware of it. And it's like, you morons, do you not understand no. that, that we are in a closed system here? Whether it's a dome or a Van Allen radiation belt or whatever, we are in a closed system here. Stop poisoning the closed system. Okay, and that's what I mean is they just write a law to fit a crime. Oh, and yeah. they tell the population a story that doesn't really make any sense. And these people just accept it without a, a fight. And if you stand up against it in any way, the shepherds will be out to get you back in line. Oh, yeah. We wrote a law, so now it's no longer a crime. <laughs> what? 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 Or, my personal favorite, Miss Mary, is my bit of dirt's better than your bit of dirt. Well, I like my bit of dirt. Yeah. So there. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's all the same. It's dirt. <laughs> maybe maybe the concept of putting value on on uh, living things has fucked us up somehow. Mm. I mean, it's one thing to value a car or a house, or but when you start putting a, a money value on a human being or a dog or something like that, to me it changes the game quite a bit. Yeah, it does. You want to hear my complaint? What's your complaint? What got up my nose this year in Ooh, Denmark? You got Back mustard up your country. nose? You know, that's how the French say it, only they say it in French. Mm. <laughs> I took French well, class. Okay, the the Danes are sticklers for order, like the the Germans. They've uh -huh. got all these fucking laws and regulations and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I don't fall under the damn things, but the dog does. What the hey? Yeah, Hannibal Lecter, <clears throat> our dog. She has a chip in her ear. She's regulated by a monitor. I saw the fucking thing work, man. They chipped her ear when she was a puppy before we got her. Whoa. This dog's got a medical history at the vet. They know they document every movement, every time you go in there, what they did, how they did it, who did it, why they did it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, and because we have the interwebs. It's so simple now to, to keep good, strong, solid records. But I'm telling you, they're more interested in the dog than they are in me. <laughs> you know, that's that was like... Um... When they had all this mad cow disease shit going mm. on, and and not that it's gone away, but, you know, it's just not the boogeyman of the month right now. But they had all of this stuff going on, and they were able to track a calf all the way back across country lines, or borders, however you wish to call it, to a specific stall in a specific farm and it's like you can do that shit with a fucking cow but you can't <laughs> keep track of these people that keep coming in you know and tearing <laughs> shit up what the hell i think y'all are feeding me a line of shit somewhere and i'm getting no, real Mr. tired of it they keep giving them those rectal implants that fall out um... over over periods of time they they loosen up and give way. <laughs> oh. Gravity gravity takes them hostage. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Anyway, oh, yeah, yeah. It, see, and it's all about money any damn way. Yeah. Money and slaves, and my corporation's got more slaves than you, and our slaves are more loyal to us than they'll ever be to you, and 
We'll prove it by blowing up your house. <laughs> and we'll have 300 and something million people supporting it. You just have to suffer with your house being bombed. <laughs> Ooh, well, yeah, because, yeah, there's a piece, there's a know, line well, I... r drawn in the dirt, and we decided without your input. That's how that uh, works. Okay, Ooh. I got Cert saying something to me on here, confusing me when I'm in the middle of my rants and rants and such. Uh-oh, and I got a kitty cat know. getting on my lap while I'm crocheting. And wow. You, have you ever noticed how cats, when you're trying to shoo them away from you, they have these magic breaks, either mm. in their front paws or their back paws, where no matter how you move them, the little sons of bitches... <laughs> They just, it's like they've got this magnet that just goes, nope, ain't moving. <laughs> no, that's you, Mary. That's, you know, oh, that's you me? sound like Cirque with one of her excuses. It's your energy that does, just like Cirque. She comes home and the damn house goes insane. <laughs> I mean, it, she, she, yeah, it's not, see, that's what I mean about life is you cannot ver visually see these things happen. The evidence that around you, like the dog acting crazy and the cat acting crazy, that's one thing. But you don't see what causes it. You only see the results of the energy. Oh, so it's my fault that the cat has magnetic paws. Well, the cat's drawn to you because of your energy. And then whatever that magnetism is between the two of you, that's probably personal. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told not to talk to other women about the pussies. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my word. <laughs> I had to slip that. I know. That was cheesy. Cheesy wheezy. <laughs> but, that was a good one, though. <laughs> hey, I got strapped. Okay. Because sometimes, well, when I tell the bombs, boy, it's like being a victim. <laughs> Go, wow, I got some bad reviews on that bomb. <laughs> but, you know, my favorite joke I ever told was that bought, brought the worst result was when I, I said that if it's over 72 degrees, it's if it's not 72 degrees, it's cold. That brought rain. <laughs> we'll see. See? Uh, there you go. Well, I can't help it. I'm sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> I got in touch with my fucking feelings, and all the women do is call me a pussy because it did it. It's a trap, guys. Don't do it. Stay tough. <laughs> Arm yourself. Those women are crazy. <laughs> yes, Boy, we are. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't, I don't know if I'm coming or going anymore. Jeez. It's a difference in color, dear. You give the world what they want, and they don't want it. Like a five-year-old, you know? Oh, you know, the five-year-old that? that doesn't want to go to bed. You know how you cure that five-year-old from not wanting to go to bed? What's that? Let him stay up. What's oh. a five-year-old going to do within 10 feet of you that you can't put out, stop, or control? What's the big deal with all that bedtime and sleep? If somebody's not tired, how do you force them to go to sleep? And then why? It's good for you to be yelled at and screamed at and bullied. <laughs> you'll grow up and you'll be a nice bully when you grow up. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, you'll be able to scream at people and force them to do what you want. You know what I found was more effective, Miss Mary? What's that? Being smarter than the child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that's, that's just cruel. Because, damn it. There are times when I have trouble being smarter than an inanimate object, and you're expecting yeah, me to be well, smarter than okay. a child? Oh, all right. But seriously, yeah. Just if you well, already know what they're going to do, which as an adult, if you're in that position around a child, mm -hmm. you already know what they're going to do. They're limited. They don't have uh, great resources to draw from. They're five years old. They got like three choices. Cover those three choices. And maybe you might have a really smart one that might sneak off to the bathroom when you're not looking. Just be prepared for it. Because <laughs> curiosity, I'm telling you, you're not supposed to kill it. 
You're supposed to follow the kids so it doesn't kill itself. Well, yeah. Yeah, my daughter taught me that. Her first two years, I realized when she was two years old that her job for that first two years was to try to kill herself, and my job was to not let her do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, because little ones are, yeah, they're, they're amazing. Well, you, and you got to draw the line, however you do, what is dangerous for them to explore and what is not, and be there when they fall in their face if it's too much, you know. Yeah. But being a being a pussy raising a child now is common. Everybody does that. In my day, whoa! If you couldn't, if you could reach the stove, you learn how to make tea. Daddy needs a cup of tea. Get a stool over here. <laughs> ah, I see. How you are. I, I'm being a little sarcastic, but uh, I was short, so they made a, a stools and shit for me to stand on because I had the ability, but not the size. Ah. Yeah, so my yeah. dad just tweaked shit to fit me so that I could accomplish shit that it would take a four-year-old to do. Well, you know, my mom did that, too. I mean, you know, I, of course, it was always, you're being mommy's little helper. And, oh, well, then I went, oh, how cool, I'm mommy's little helper. You know, so I would got, get a little stool well, so I could go stand at the sink and help her do dishes. Or, and you who know. has the time for that now, though? Does your daughter have the, the a time to involve her kids that your mom did actually well she doesn't have the time that my mom did yeah. but she does yeah. involve her kids um yeah well no i didn't mean to be rude i'm just saying the time no. because she works i know your kid works yeah yeah so that limits you a little bit right there yeah. work and travel then you got kids and kids don't care about that kids care hey dad's home mom's home blah 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 whatever the deal is and yeah. then they get but they don't have any concept about yesterday or tomorrow. They're in the moment. Oh, yeah. Little ones, oh, That was ones, easy yeah. for me to put myself in the moment of a five-year-old and figure out what would I do. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I came up with some clever shit when I was like three and four. My mom didn't think I was that smart, but I was. Yeah. And I went did horrible shit that I shouldn't have done. <laughs> Well, yeah, and you survived it. So obviously your mother did a good job of letting you live through your horrible shit that you did. Well, yeah, well, it's innocent horrible shit now compared to what I did as an adult. But, <laughs> yeah, like uh, I think it was like two and a half or something, and I'd figured out where how to get to the, the corner store around the block. Oh. Yeah. I guess she thought she put me down for a nap or something, and I had other plans. I stole eight cents off a table and hit the store. And see, my brother Danny did that. Yeah. When he was 18 and, months old, he just he knew how to open the door, and he yeah. just opened the door and started walking down the street, and Mom and Dad were out looking like crazy for him. And the police, um, he showed back up at the house um, in the back of a police car. That was back when they were still peacekeepers. And um, in any case, they said, well, it's been on the radio. And mom said, and we've been out looking for him because, you know, this is pre-portable radio and all that fun shit. So, uh -oh. you know, eh, kids, kids do that shit. They, yeah, I've, I've done my share of stupid stuff, too, that I lived through it. And, yep, yeah, I think, I don't think you've been a child if you haven't done something stupid that you. Not, not now. Now it's all different. Look at look at the college people that got. I mean, wow, bullies, but they're victims. They're victim bullies. If you say or anything to them, ooh, and but they can say anything they like. Oh yeah. And vicious and nasty and. But bullies. how how big of a percentage of the college kids is that really? That, Who cares? I wonder. Wow. It I know. It matters to you how many? Fuck well, that it yeah, exists it does. at all is a problem. Yes, that it exists at all is a problem. But you know what's funny is I share videos like that sometimes, and it's the younger people that comment and go, God, what total babies. You know, so. That could be very well true, but I'm. Um, College, I don't know. College is uh, the rich case. You know, the rich and the ultra poor that are crazy enough to go in debt to try to fix it. Well, it is it is the higher levels of education and indoctrination. That I will, and I have a nephew that said that all it is is paying lots of money so that you yeah. can go and regurgitate yeah. a bunch of facts yeah. and figures. Others, yeah, 
Whoopie, whoopie do. I know what president was alive in 1963. Yeah. Well, wow, and... build me a house with that motherfucker. Yeah. I wouldn't live in that. That thing ought to be last me about 10 seconds. Yeah. Anyway. Well, and my nephew, you know, agribusiness major and all this other fun stuff. So, you know, he oh. did he did the whole four years and he's, oh. you know, he's doing OK, but he also is not deeply in debt because he paid for it along the way. That's the key. OK, well, still, mm, I have my doubts about the quality of what is considered to be higher learning because of looking at the politicians that we have in power. Yeah, well, and I think I, that's I, that's where you decide what you deem is something that you wish to do your higher learning in. He did I something based, and yeah. something useful where, you know, learning about grains and soil and stuff like that. No, I'm not, I'm not bitching about your, your yeah. cousin, your brother. I'm bitching about the politicians. Wow, you really know how to take the wind out of my sails. <laughs> well, you know, if you really want to... I wanna... can't even get on a rant on my own dark table. I know, and Cowboy's trying to divert us and free the nipple appeal at the New Hampshire Supreme Court. Baby. It's you know a what? video. Fuck these Supreme Courts. But what the fuck is wrong with people? Are you serious? We have Internet. What do you need a Supreme Court for? I don't know. There should They should just do away with all this bullshit and just go online and do open source. And the rules are simple. The best available materials to use. There's your product. How does that work with nipples? Well, it works <laughs> like this, right? I think I think that oil is a bad, bad thing. Okay, I think it does way more harm than good, and I also believe that anything they make out of oil, they could make out of hemp. That's... I also believe they knew this when they replaced hemp with oil, and. They refuse to apologize and say, hey, Lou, we're sorry we lied. We did it because we were greedy. Now this is the truth. It would be so simple. But no, we got this crap we live in. Trump. Trump and fucking what else? Uh, Jeff Sessions. Uh. Some some dumbass parliament, whatever the fuck, ministers. and It's a bunch of crap. We don't need it. It's just if they did what was right. They wouldn't be in a job. <laughs> there you go. It's job security for people that suck the fucking fun out of life. Hmm. You know, if you really, really take that all the way down the, well, maybe not all the way, but as far as I can see, if you didn't need a job, mm -hmm. then you probably wouldn't do such things. Ooh, and that is, hmm, <laughs> well, Okay. Moving along. I'm still just yeah. trying to figure out how that has anything to do with nipples unless you're saying that it's you don't want to use petroleum-based oils on nipples, but it's okay to use hemp oil on nipples. Yeah, that like that's it. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Pamper those babies. You're going to need them. <laughs> yeah. It's not like you, you know, you can retire them at a certain age. No, 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 no. Read the marriage vows thing clause, page yeah. six, paragraph nine. The nipples are mine. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, are the nipples. <laughs> oh, I thought it was subsection three. That okay. Could have been. I don't. Oh, I was. I was just as yeah. going off on some crazy shit while you were stalling reading. No. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't know if anybody's noticed this or not, but yeah. Canada's in a big bowl of doo-doo. Yes, it is, because they've, they've, no. a, they've got a, a prime minister whose no, great uncle was why. a horse thief. <laughs> no, yeah, but that ain't why. You know why? Why? You know why Canada's in a big bowl of doo-doo. Why? For the same reason that, that the use is in a big bowl of doo-doo. Uh oh. And why is that? Because they changed the word for to of. Oh. 
So in other words, they rearranged the F and the O and added an R. You know, and that I keep saying, get the R out of there. It's not a <laughs> revolution, it's an evolution. Get the R out of there. No, no, you need to put the R back. It needs to be for, not of. You got it backwards. Oh, That's oh. how they screwed us. Oh. Changing it for America to of America legally changed that to legally change everything else that came after it. Okay, so as they, bass backwards. So they need to take the no, R right. out of yeah, out of revolution they, and put it back to four. Okay. They, I got you. They do these sneaky fucking things on paper, but they report verbally or on film different stories than what really happened. They've been doing it since they started. Ah. We have been lied to about more I can I could talk for two hours about all the different things we've been bullshitted about. There's that much of it. Well, yeah. Well, if you can't trust the money, then why trust anything else? But you guys are a tough crowd. <laughs> yes, we are. I'm serious, man. You know, I'll, I'll tell you this, though. Let's say that where I live, we got cut off from the rest of the country for a week. I would assume, from what I've seen around me, that the fellas here in town would have the electricity and water running in 24 hours. Probably. No matter what it took, they just keep working until it was fixed. Probably. Because this place survived way before the rest of everybody else got there. <laughs> Tough know? ass people. Yeah, they were they were you know, they were here for a long time. So they don't need the outside world like I do. Mm. They still cut wood for their wood fires in their houses and shit. Things that were made illegal in America are common here. Oh, uh, you know, they, uh, that's the problem and, with the centralized uh, bullshit. You know, they say, oh, well, we don't do it here, so you can't do it there either. Really? Well, you come on over here, assholes. But all da up and down the roads when, you know, when the spring is here is even the best time because, you know, the sun's out again. But people grow shit all year round. Yeah, there's always something going on in nature in my little neighborhood. You oh. know, I'm not cut off from it for once. I'm sitting right there. I can open my thing and see trees, you know, and it's just one day we, we saw a deer across the road in the neighbor's yard. Mm -hmm. Just simple, little, boring fucking things like that, that me and Cirque like, <laughs> I guess. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I like seeing deer and bunny rabbits, and I'll go stand out in my yard, and I'll see a bunny rabbit come close to the fence, and it's like, no, bunny, don't come in the fence. My dogs will eat you. <laughs> yeah, and, and at one period of my life, I liked partying on the 20th floor, and those days are over. Now mm -hmm. I like something different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I call it evolving. Other people call it changing your mind or whatever. I don't know. Maybe that's what it was. But as life progressed, I started to see things, you know, in one, one era of life years-wise. I'd see it one way. Then I look back and go, oh, wow, I see. I changed my opinion about that when that happened. Well, you know, there's lots of times I look back on some of my experiences and I go, wow, I don't see it now the way I did then. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, there you go. Well, that made you... An official dork on the dork table. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. He won. So did, did anybody ever get back on after us, or are we still the only Saturday afternoon entertainment? I think we're the only Saturday afternoon entertainment. I don't know if JJ's... Uh -huh. I bet you JJ's probably doing something on his webcom.co.uk if you want to go oh. check that out. But you know what? Tomorrow at noon Eastern time will be Grimner with the blues and hopefully a rousing game of trivia in the RLM chat, which I will probably only get one or two answers. But, hey, that's better than not getting any. I also know <laughs> <laughs> it sucks to not get any. But in any case, <laughs> directly uh, no, following does, Grimner. That's a contradiction in terms. We'll talk about oh, that tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow, wow. um, directly following Grimner will be Hal Anthony, who's going to take oh, yo Anthony. ass behind the woodshed and open up a can of whoop ass. Woo woo! It's gonna hurt. Yeah. It's gonna hurt, but it's I okay. I want to see the video. Oh, I want to see him using it on 
on Hansel. Ooh, I don't. I don't. I don't. There's some things I just don't want to see. And guess what? Tomorrow morning, or not tomorrow, or tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, is Gary Ellen Gigi Boo with The Road Less Traveled. So, yeah. Evening. So there's lots going on tomorrow, but I guess you get to have the rest of your Saturday to yourself. I was going to go out and work in the yard, but and this yeah. morning I was doing that for a while, and I went out and I burned my trash and and picked mm -hmm. up some yard waste, and then the wind came up, and I had to go and put the fire out because yeah, damn wind. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you're I just know. a regular whiner now. Yes, I am. <laughs> Good God. I'm going to get your own channel. You could just snivel on it and complain about shit. <laughs> what, <laughs> what would we call that? The fava bean channel, because that's where Hannibal <laughs> hangs out. <laughs> Bring a bottle of wine and all your problems will be solved. <laughs> wow, well, how's that possible? Well, Hannibal will just fucking kill you and eat your liver. Yeah, and well, you well, won't have any more problems because you won't be here. Solves so. everything, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. He only ate free-range brood. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he had standards. Free-range, huh? Okay. All righty. Yes. Well, yes. thanks, everybody, for Thank listening you. in. Have an awesome rest of your weekend, and uh, we will catch up with you on the flip side. Put the lotion on its skin. It does it whenever it's...